Welcome to Adam. I cannot say it is by choice. For nurturing a boy child. The effect of alcohol, drugs. The modern man and status. Is more informed when it comes to depression. It really happens to so many young girls. Yeah. Is courtship the same as dating? He's the man I want. The ones that you use matters, not the, the location. <laughs> Hello viewers, welcome to Adam. Last week we talked about domestic violence and this week we talk about polygamy. I am your host, Leona Asiko Obura. We went to the streets to hear what people think about polygamy in this day and era. This is what people had to say. I am a Katla Ndolwara. I am a Katla Ndolwara. Awasikizana bibi ya kwanza, jinabidi sasa awe wa pili, jo labda wengine wanatoa toa stress. Mr. Ngugi, and uh, if anything, uh, there is a good reason why a male will, will find himself spending time with many different women. Uh, this is because if you look at the male, I mean at the animal kingdom rather, you'll find out there's no single male has one uh, partner. In fact, this thing of uh, a man has to have one wife was choreo choreographed by someone. And uh, at some point, it has brought issues. And even, even before the Europeans and uh, everyone else came, our grandfathers were very comfortable being polygamous. So this thing of being monogamous has been created and it's about time that we agreed it's not working. My name is Fernando Ndambuki. Uh, I'm against polygamy because more as, as a polygamous person, you tend to look at more of what you're lacking instead of what you have already. As, um, as you know, polygamy has been the African state of mind for a very long time. And in as much as it has been our culture, it's something we need to do away with because in this modern day and age, it is very de degrading to women to know that they have other people competing for the affection of the same man that with them at, at the same time. Um, I'm Jackie. Um, yes. My answer to about polygamy. Uh, personally, I don't support polygamy because, as women, we have the jealousy instincts, and yes, we feel. Like, this guy is mine and mine alone, so we don't like sharing. Okay. Yes. So, as much as some might f kinda say that it's okay, uh, that they support the husband to have a polygamous relationship, inside them, well, they don't want that. So, yes, as women, we want one guy for ourselves. John Kimani mm -hmm. and um, in fourth year University of Nairobi and on the discussion I think when you are a polygamous person it depends on what you are going through in your marriage you know first of all there are those ways that um, may be disturbing you maybe you have a wife she doesn't fulfill your everything that you want so she makes you feel like unwanted so you might go for another better part. So in that case, you might want to marry another wife. On the other occasion is that um, you might have a wife also that uh, she doesn't fulfill your needs. You tell her and she doesn't care. In another instance is whereby you have a wife who travels. A man has needs, just like you know. So, and he has to fill his needs. So. Instead of going and for the prostitutes here in Koinange, you opt for the option of marrying another one. And then you might have also another wife who can't bear children. So you opt to have someone who can bear children. And also you may, may want to have another wife who doesn't have to want uh, like two kids. You know, in our cultural background, you need to leave your dad and your mom. So someone says, I want only one child. 
So where will you get another child to name your dad or your mother from? My uh, Robert Mutua Maina. And uh, I believe that uh, a man is polygamous because he's born polygamous. That is something we have in gene and it cannot be controlled. Then two, is that uh, a person has to be polygamous, especially a man, because uh, of the nature of our marriages. Eh? We have a lot of conflicts in our marriages. You get to home and uh, your wife kind of don't understand you, so you just need to have another person who understands you better. So then there's uh, three. Uh, you can be polygamous because you want more kids. Yeah, the wife has a... Uh, a period of time where she gets to, uh, as in she cannot deliver any more kids and uh, you need some more kids and uh, stuff. Mm. Then it's also tra traditionally, you know, that uh, a man has never been single. Uh, it has always been possible for a man to marry even 10 wives as long as you can raise them. Then uh, a man can also be polygamous because of uh, circumstances. If this man has got wealth and uh, can raise the kids together with maintaining the wives in the possible measure and ways that uh, he is able, then he can go ahead and marry as many wives as he, uh, he feels like. Come back. In studio with us is Reverend Mugambi. Welcome, Reverend. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Come. Very well. I thank God. Okay, that is nice to hear. Yes. So what is polygamy, Reverend? Well, as we have had many people trying to try to give a definition of polygamy, it's true, polygamy is about a man marrying many, more than one wife. Mm. That's how he, 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 now he qualifies to be a polygamist. He can have one, I mean he can have two, he can have three. But uh, when a man has concubines, several other ladies out there. Who he is not married? A man married may have other ladies out there mm -hmm. for fun. He cannot be taken to as a polygamist because mm -hmm. where polygamy is involved is where this man makes it illegal like where he pays dowry, he reports to the parents of the, of the lady, the society knows that this is a legal wife. It can be cultural, mm. traditional, and sometimes he can also go through the law to have this lady as his wife. Yeah. So now he has two or three or four, depending on his ability, and the reasons as to why he's getting married. Mm. Yes. Why are men polygamous? Is it in your nature <laughs> as a man? Are you like, is it inborn or do you acquire it? <laughs> well, I think th they say uh, all men are capable of being polygamous. And by ma nature, men are polygamous. Well, somehow, to some extent, yes. Every other man can be capable of becoming polygamous. Mm -hmm. Owing to the fact that if the circumstances encompassing him di dictates that uh, he should get another wife, you may find this man getting into it. In what kind of circumstances are these? Good. One, there may be the issue of this man not being able to move on well with his first wife. Like they, have, they are not buddies. Okay. And he feels like instead of me kicking her out, like what we said in the previous uh, lesson episode last week, instead of me kicking her out with her children, I would rather uh, maintain her, but get a more suitable person. Mm. In Israel, they and the, or the Jews and two schools of thought. Okay. And there was a what they used to call an Ariel Ariel school, 
where in one of the schools of thought the f or the held that if a woman is displeasant to me and I feel that I don't want this lady who is not the way I expected it was enough reason for this man to remarry mm. to get another wife the other school uh, the Jews took as another way of getting another wife was that uh, in case the woman is uh, maybe doesn't cook well <laughs> and when this man comes home he complains over food maybe it was burnt or it was not uh, flied properly or it was not warm it was another reason for man so divorce was not an option it wasn't the it option wasn't. was to get another wife the option was to get another wife okay so when we talk of polygamy or a polygamous person we are looking at this man who has declared publicly not hidden mm. publicly mm that I have X, Y, Z, who are my wives, who should share the same privileges in terms of maybe how much is this man visiting them. That when I visit X today, tomorrow I'll visit Y, and the other day I'll visit W. Mm. How about the children? that I hold every child with equal rights. I give him or her equal rights. Right to education, shelter, and also to maybe clothing and security. Proper love, proper, proper care. Proper love and care. Support of these children, bringing them together. That is a proper, typical African or a Briton or an American polygamous man. Wives being taken care of equally. Mm. Though of course, to some extent, for one to be polygamous, he might have had some displeasance, some things that annoyed him. With the first wife, the that's first why wife. he looked for a second. Yes. Meaning that as much as he would want to give love and, and attention to the first wife, he may not be able. Mm. Sometimes, like you know, the the old the African culture, the yesteryears, many more years back, the first wife used to maybe decide or suggest to the man that uh, you can go and get married. Mm. Why? Because there is a lot of work here, of weeding of taking care of your, your livestock and of course even conjugal rights. Yeah. That as she ages she may feel like I will not be able because this man is not doing a lot of work. He is eating, drinking, moving with with other men and he is strong. So she feels like maybe I can have a helper. So it's not now the man who is getting a helper, but it is the wife, the first wife who is getting a helper. So in most cases, they used to suggest to the man, not only that. Some of them used to even point at the girl. Yes. They want to be a co-wife. Yeah. It was an around. A girl she thinks she can live with in peace in the yes, home. Yes, yes. And for that one, there used to be a lot of love. Even if this man could uh, be almost every other time sleeping in a, in a, in a hut or her going to his, to, because in most cases the man used to have his own house, mm. that even if she spends every other night with him in, the, in, in his hut, there couldn't have been any problem. But in the, in, in, in the case where we find man deciding that I want to get another wife, it is because maybe has been irritated beyond doubt, beyond repair, and he wants somebody else to come. 
Membi has been denied conjugal rights, where the, the wife becomes a non-performer. And he feels like, I mean, that uh, instead of me going, uh, you know, messing myself All up, over the place with different other, women, yeah, yes. Because I'm dignified. I would rather bring someone else with or without the agreement of <laughs> the first wife. But because it was an allowed norm then, um, most of the women did not have a problem. But children used to have differences. Mm. Because th th the first wife did not um, give authority to have the, the, the second wife. So she will always be complaining inwardly, well, within herself, but of course she would tell some of her children yeah. that, uh, you know, your father didn't this, he did not consult me. And so th the children of this second wife, w we have some differences with the first wife. But um, of course for a clever, wise man, you would be able to bridge the, the gap. Between the two? Between the two children, the two families, where you would sort and go to eat together, try to bring the two wives together, and um, have a talk, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, do the introduction, and, uh, you know, because in most cases they, sometimes they used to live within the same homestead. So you, you find that it was the role of a man, of this man who has the two wives or the three, to be able to try to bring his family in order. Therefore, polygamy is about this man bringing these uh, people, these wo women, women together, or he may decide not to bring them together, but the, every other woman should know that there is another one, either one or two. The second yeah. one knows that there is a third one. <laughs> in the case of maybe this man is rich, very rich, and he wants his things to be... Uh, he wants to have people who are going to also workers. inherit. Yeah, yeah, workers. Yeah, inheritance. He wants workers, uh, women to man, whatever he has, and he wants many children. Yeah. Sometimes. Polygamy, even today, may be as a result of uh, a, a family or a man who has been born being one, although I'm born many, but most of his other siblings died. So he inherits? So he has inheritance mm -hmm. of the family land, ancestral land, and many other property, mm. the wealth. He is the only child who survived. Seriously, one w he may feel that one one woman will not be able to give birth to several several other children who would, who will inherit what I have, and there again he may decide to marry so that he can have so many children. Polygamy also could be as a result of barrenness, where maybe the first wife did not give birth. And they agree with the wife that you can have somebody else who can be giving birth. That so the second wife, he may, maybe he doesn't necessarily love her, but her duty is just to procreate. She is a procreator. Okay. Yeah. No <laughs> love, nothing. So, but of course, with the blessings of the first wife. Yeah. We found in most cases in those days that it was the work of the first wife again to point Mm. to the person and that who can be her helper yeah, in, can, yes, yeah. in terms of giving birth. And this way you find that um, when this second wife gives birth to children, they, they were all almost for this woman. They took care of, they, they took good care of these children here. I mean, she took good care of the children of the second of wife. Of the second wife, yes. Because she's the one who pointed at her and she, she did even literally the paying of the dowry <laughs> for her. Even the negotiations. Negotiations, yes. she was there calling good well, you know, that traditional, uh, traditional um, porridge. And uh, also 
going with goats and cows. So the children belonged to her and they used to call her mom, mom or mommy or whatever, mm. whatever it is. The man may decide also, now that it is the wife who has pointed, my first wife who has pointed uh, to me, the second wife, he may have his own decision to, uh, to marry another one, a third one and a fourth one, where he himself is deciding, is the decision maker, the wife of his choice, and he can now bring in an another one. Okay, during this courtship period, mm -hmm. like when a man is courting a woman, yeah. can that be a form of cheating? Because some men do not tell their women, honey, I'm bringing you home a second wife. You just get the news, boom, number two is here. And during that courtship period, he has not told you that he was, because you don't meet somebody today and marry them. Mm -hmm. You actually court, get to know them before you actually go to the altar and say, I do. So can that period, can a man be said, to have cheated during that period before you informed your wife that you were going to actually marry another woman? Well, I will not say that it's a form of cheating because early alone we said courtship is a process. Yes. It's a long process. The woman has become displacent. <laughs> they are now sharing many things in common. They have no good talks, they have nothing in common, they don't sit down to, to plan anything. And this man, most of the times he's out, he comes at his own leisure, home, coming to sleep. When all this happens, if there, there cannot be a time of maybe talking, both of them, you talk and say this and this, like maybe the discussion can can be can be from the or the talk can be from the woman she says uh, you know darling or papa so and so mm. i'm not happy with the way with, things with are the way things are mm. if it is about me i'm ready to change <laughs> and this man is going to change or rather he can, he can even uh, um like suspend he can suspend his intention of getting married mm. because after all my my wife is getting better and i wanted to remarry because i did not have good co a good companion but some men don't remarry because their women are displeasant i know yes some I of know. some of the men are just n like you said natural Polygamy is yeah, like you are, just want to polygamy. have yeah. quite a number of women. Yeah, and the children. Yes. They are happy when they see many children many and women around and them. Many wives around them. And of course, don't forget that there are also there are men who are generally very strong sexually. <laughs> and one woman cannot be able to attend to him. That's why you find some of them, even when they have two, they still want another than one for sex. Some of them may not even be interested in uh, in getting children. Mm -hmm. They are interested in somebody that don't give me sex. Again, why? Because, you know, uh, in some cultures, in some tribes, it is a taboo to talk about sex. Okay. Even in some, some churches. Mm. Th there are maybe some of our viewers who, who may hear uh, me talk about sex, you talk about sex, and they say, ah. What are these people? They, they, they switch off the, f the, 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 the television. Because it is, to them it is like a taboo. They don't know that sex is a way of life. Sex has been uh, created by God, and designed by God for man and woman. And when they fail to talk about sex, this man will forever remain starved sexually. And let me say this But part. you're married. How do they remain starved? Mm, let me say this. Because you are a, a lady, a dama man. Most men, because of that factor of not being able to discuss sex openly with their women or with this woman, is his wife, they remain starved sexually. They are always peeping their eyes on any woman that, is, that comes across or around them. 
they feel like I would want to have have for sex. Why? Because even if he was there last night, he never did the proper job. He had he didn't have enough sex. Right? Mm. But when um, a woman learns more about sex, and for this, for th for that matter, I, I also advise that uh, women who are getting married should learn more about sex okay. from the counselors, from psychologists and sexologists. Yeah, oh, so it's important. Sexologists. Yeah, it's very important. Okay. Let them learn many things. Let them learn many things about sex. The human anatomy, the human, you know, the functions of the body and how to go about it. If this one is not done, believe you me, you know, when I talk to men in seminars and so on, men are so much stuff. <laughs> they feel like I can have another one. Even if I'm a church man, you know, I feel like I can have. Why? Because how many churches provide such seminars? Okay. Where they, they openly invite, discuss sex. Yeah, that is they, true. They invite people who can openly discuss matters related to sex and marriage. In marriage. Very few churches. Very few. When they fail to invite people who know. The pastor is only concentrating on the Bible and the morals. The counselor, the sexologist, the psychologist will sit down and talk about the reality of the marriage, mm. the practical aspect of it. They will talk about the importance of this animal called sex. They will talk about the beauty of it. Mm. People desire to have quality sex. Yes. So most men, as I've said, they, they, they may go into getting another wife looking for that person who will give him quality sex. So sex is very important yes. in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how you also find somebody is married and a mistress, she doesn't give her quality sex. The first wife doesn't give her quality sex. He goes to the streets and he may dwell so much in the streets. Why? Because those, those uh, our sisters who, who, who the have commercial their sex workers, bodies yes. to, into commercial, they have styles <laughs> of providing the quality sex. Okay. My question is, can't the same styles be used by a married woman. Who says that women should not be trained to provide quality sex? So, but if a, if a man is naive and you happen to be taught by other women, they tell you, hey, they, they, hey girl, this is how you do it, you do this, and you provide this man you, with the quality sex, you'll be happy. And then you go and try what you have been taught and shown by other women. <laughs> the worst <laughs> may happen. <laughs> the worst may happen. Where this man will start complaining, where, where have you learned this? Okay. And he starts uh, labeling you, calling you names, yeah. malaya, accusing you of cheating. You. Yes. You have been cheating on me. That's true. And you have just learned. So that's why I'm saying for those people who are taking care of the community, they should take care of both men and women, and the women. married, so that the church can provide this because it is it is actually the pride. It shouldn't be the pride of the church to see couples working together. Mm, that's true. Church, not separating and divorcing, and the divorce over this minor thing, like you know. I'm not satisfied with their... Things that could actually be saved. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and this program is all about that. That um, if the churches would feel that uh, we are not adequate enough, the pastor feels that I don't have people, the personnel to, to do this, to talk about this, let them seek for advice. Okay. From those people who can talk about it openly. Okay, Reverend. That was quite some information there. So tell me, what are the pros of polygamy? Everything has two sides. So tell me, <coughs> the pros. Yeah. Mm, program, uh, polygamy, 
uh, good or bad as it may be, or depending on who you are yeah. and what you want. And your upbringing. And the upbringing has its own pros. You know, a father can put a wench in his own family where children are differing with each other. Mm. They don't, you know, take like they belong to the same father. They run to their mothers and say, this is our clan. My mother is our, my clan and my mother is my clan. So instead of seeing the common factor, who is the father, the uniting factor, then they, they, they put the father They all side. branch, they, yeah, they, into, they, yeah. They, they put the father aside. And you may hear such children saying, I'm mama, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm so and so, uh, and he calls himself by the name of the mother. He will partake the mother's yes, name for yeah. a surname. Yes, yes, a surname. Yeah. So that way now you find the children not not being together. They will keep on fighting in that family. They can even kill each other over property. Mm. The other thing that is also seen in uh, some of those polygamous families is where you find the women themselves of fighting. Mm. They are fighting over one man. Because he is here, he is the one who has married all of them, and they are still fighting. How about in terms of of um, of, of uh, property? Property. Haven't you seen? Haven't you heard? Haven't you read? What happens to some of those families where the the the, the father and many wives, children and wives start fighting over property? They did a fight to the nail. They fight in courts, they fight physically, they kill each other, they mm -hmm. maim each other, and sometimes they, end, they may end up losing their lives. Yeah. Some of them going even into witchcraft, to bewitch this, to bewitch the other. Each one of them want the property, the property at the expense of the other. They want to own everything. The other thing is um, where now the father loses the credibility okay it's too unfortunate because when a man has more than two wives sometimes he end up losing the credibility in the society because this family is no more it's a family of fights it's a family where the the society will not give them regard respect and each wife can actually take off with her kids that's it yeah so he may even eventually be deserted. Like if he had property and he has shared amongst the wives. So that, that's how some of the uh, tribes used to do. They share amongst the wives. Yeah. Even if you had 10 children, you'll be given equal equal share with the one who had two. What, oh. what, what, what injustice is there? You see, who, who is the cause of this? It is the father again. Yeah, it's the father. If there is the first wife or the second one, the 10 children, another one 15, another one 3, another one 4. Yeah. Seriously, with all the due respect, this man should share property according to the number of children that God has given him in this polygamous marriage. When it comes to sharing to the wives, he should have a share for each wife. Right? Mm -hmm. However small. Yeah. Let this wife share this small portion. The other one, the other one, the other one. So that when, by whatever reason, she happens to die, she can leave it to the person that she wants. Okay. Hold on that thought, Reverend. Yeah. You have told us the disadvantages of polygamy. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we're going to talk about the advantages of polygamy. Let's just take a short commercial break. We write back. The boiling point mix. The boiling point mix. Active sounds DJ.
Attention, ladies and gentlemen, this DJ is I'll be awesome. crossing over, I'll be crossing over. Activate. Make the wine, make the wine. Dance with vibes like a sun you want shine. Active sounds, them sister you want shine. You are biggest baddest sounds that on the era. Make it with a baby, baby, baby. the Kenya Institute of Media and Technology. We are the gurus in the training of certificate and diploma in journalism, computer studies, business administration, hospitality management, travel and tourism management, clearing and forwarding, social work and community development and electrical and electronics. Visit us at our head office at Ntihani House and Taveta Court, Nairobi. Kenya Institute of Media and Technology. Technology is power. Take your career to the skies with Nairobi Aviation College. 2014 Intech is in progress for certificate and diploma courses in aeronautical engineering, airport operations, general aviation piloting, electrical and electronics engineering, computer science and IT, hotel and catering, travel and tourism, journalism and mass communication, business management, supplies management, community development, clearing and forwarding, secretarial, CPA and ATC programs. Visit our campuses in Meru, Nairobi, Kisumu, Nakuru, Mombasa, Eldorate and Kitale. Our courses are IATA approved. Nairobi Aviation College. Profession is power. Welcome back. Before we took our break, we were talking about the negativity that is caused by polygamy. For any questions, comments, and suggestions, our Facebook page is Aviation TV Kenya. Twitter handle is at Aviation TV Kenya. My Facebook page is Leona Asiko Obura. Twitter handle is at Leona Asiko Obura. So now Reverend is going to tell us the positivity, rather the pros, of polygamy. Yeah, well, though polygamy may be demonized in some quarters, where it is not demonized, there are a number of uh, pros, a number of positive things about it. One in the case of uh, where one woman may be in an, an unperformer in, in sex, this man will be satisfied because maybe he was looking for sex or a sex partner. Like when one is nursing the baby, the other one is having fun with the husband. Okay. The other thing is um, in the case where um, a man would want to have several children and he is able to educate them see every kind of a profession in your home mm. teachers professors and you know doctors police officers and security personnel all sorts of uh, uh, of professionals are we within your home state or they are yours so this man has his name all over world. Kananda, he's in the Philippines, he's all over. He's well represented. Yes. <laughs> so he feels that I'm satisfied that at least I have children all over. Seriously, look, look at such a man. When you know you have girls who have been married to this family, well-to-do families, and Others are not married in well to do families, but you are still supporting them. All other siblings are supporting them. And blessed is such a man if yeah. he is blessed with more daughters. Because yes. daughters look after their parents that in is old very age. True. And they say the fathers. Yes. They, they, you know, they go well with their fathers. Mm. So it, 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 the man feels that he is okay because he has daughters. The other issue is, uh, I mean, the other positive thing about it is when this man is able to reconcile his family where he's able to unite them together look at a family where every christmas you see a, a line of vehicles coming home over christmas 
what, what more pride would you draw from whichever other sector? That's true. Like you mentioned in the cons yeah. about uh, the families not getting along, children from the first wife, mm -hmm. you know, not getting along with those from the second or the third. Yes. In some of these polygamous settings, some of these children get along so well that yes. you cannot differentiate which child is from the first wife True. or the second. Yes. So I think when you want to be polygamous as a man, yes. you should have the factor of bringing children and people together. together. I don't think you should get into a polygamous setting if you don't have that ability. Yeah. Because yeah. it takes a lot for mm -hmm. these kids from the first wife yeah. to look at their siblings from the second and call this my sister. Right. And there are such settings. Yeah. So kudos that, that, to those that's men. That's true. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Then the other thing is that uh, this man is uh, held by the society as a <laughs> successful man <laughs> and a well-displayed man because he's disciplining his children, he's, he's taking care of his family. And again, he is not hard, I mean, he is not a talk of the, of the, of the society, of the very, that he goes, you know, having fun with other women out there because he's already satisfied with his own wife within the that that family setting yeah that he doesn't go to the streets he doesn't go you know knocking at the, the doors of other women out there he is satisfied within his homestead within his homestead mm -hmm. so this is a statesman you know he is viewed as a statesman by that we are not saying that it is the sweetest thing that one can do because the more women you have, the more trouble. <laughs> so for one to decide, Aziko, that I am going to get married to many wives, this man should be wary of what we have previously said, the cons. Yeah. That if I am man enough um, and I will be able to handle my house, properly, is bringing it, and there is nothing that can deter me from getting married to a second and a third or a fourth or a tenth wife, mm -hmm. then know that the obvious will happen. You have to take care of each one of them equally. Okay. So, that equal sharing of wealth, equal sharing of resources in that family brings the unity. That brings me to my next question. Yeah. Do these second wives, third wives, fourth, even tenth, as you said, have equal rights as wife number one? Equal rights that they even take the man's second name. Equal rights that maybe wife number one has been with this man from the moment that he had nothing. She built his wealth with him. Does wife number two, three, and ten have equal rights to have an equal inheritance? like our first wife does <coughs> well i think common sense should uh, tell us even without going to any law mm -hmm. should tell us that uh, the property that we have with my first wife should not be shared with the second wife ah oh, okay seriously <laughs> if i want to have second third fourth wives they should all come and we make <laughs> property we generate income we generate wealth together, together yeah with them not to the expense of the first wife because the first wife has struggled all the years so the normal thing and the the, the that which can bring a lot of unity without uh, you know making the other the other the first wife feel that uh, you know i have been taken advantage is when I bring a second wife and we generate some wealth. So every her. wife is going to reap where they sowed. The where they sowed. Yes. <laughs> and that is the, n the normal thing. About the name, every wife should feel nice being called by the name of this man. So if they are Mrs. X, they are all Mrs. X. Because he is, he is the owner of them all, he is, gives them children, he has given them a place to live, mm. they are all Mrs. X. 
no one should be called anything less than the, the man. So the name has no problem. Okay. But there should be a, a, a caution here, because again, that uh, can be bring a, a lot of uh, uh, antagonism and fights in the family. Where, yes, you have acquired wealth, right? Yeah. With the first wife, second wife, third wife. Is there a central pool? Is there, I mean, where we can pull together? We put some certain percentages together. For the sake of, there can be uh, maybe health, ill health, education of children. Because the first wife may not have as much. Remember, she was the first wife and she came when I had nothing. Yeah. These ones have met me somewhere. When you have a lot. When I have a lot. Now, if we don't put something into the central account where the child of second or first and so on wants to go for higher learning, then the children of the first wife may be disadvantaged. Mm. They may not have as much education as those ones of the second, third, fourth wife. So it is again the duty of man. That's why I said he must be very wise to um, make sure that uh, he has developed uh, or rather he has, he has brought his wives together and they have thought about the central pool where they, ca they can be able to take care of each other. Okay. <coughs> the other thing, sorry, the other thing um, again that uh, should happen when this man has those those men wives and they are calling him by his name, is where again he ought to show some respect for each other. That he, you know he must make sure that each one of them has respect for the other person. Because for sure we cannot see you being so low in everything. You are driving and the second one is driving while the, the first one is not driving. Yeah. It is the work of this man to make sure that each and every other woman who is in his name feels comfortable. If Especially this first one. Yes. They're the ones who because actually she, yeah. help build these men. She's a pillar. By the time this wife number two and three yeah. have found him attractive, mm -hmm. it is wife number one who has built this man for you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's why they, they saw him as a good guy. Exactly. So at least this man should make sure that... Uh, this this woman is well taken care of and he should always be telling them even if they are not in good relationship but so long as she is under this man she did not run away the man should make her sure that she is secure nobody will go pointing a finger at her or even fighting her because that can be the obvious thing that when they come you see her as foolish she, she is unlearned she is uncultured but because you have come in your culture and you saw a smart guy and you married him, you think that uh, this man, I mean this other woman, is useless. Mm. It is not right. Okay. Yeah. What makes a man look for a second or even third family? Because as we have agreed, polygamy is actually this man marrying, making this legal. Yeah. He's making his wife known to people. Yeah. It's not a man going behind the scenes with our toys this is actually yeah. something serious so what makes a man actually go out there and look for a, because when you're getting married you want a family yes so what makes him do this w well I in most cases um, men who feel that they want a second or third wife they take it as a pride to to themselves that i feel um i'm accomplished i've accomplished my mission because I have acquired it over, uh, I mean, from my ancestor, mm. uh, from my ancestors, I mean, and or even from my own parents. My father was a polygamist, and I want to do it because he had shown and he proved beyond doubt that he was good. He was capable of taking care of his wives. So why am I not going to be able to take care of? Yeah. Sometimes you can see it is genetical because this man, when you look at his grandparents, the grandfather and the two wives or three, the great grandfather and the seven, 
the father and the two. Mm. So it has been, it is something that is uh, acceptable. It's an uh, acceptable norm. And it's mm. a button that has been passed yeah. on. Yeah, yes. Therefore, he feels that there is nothing wrong. Even if he goes to church, he wonders when, mm. when he hears that, you know, each man should have his own wife. Only one wife, yes. One wife, one man. <laughs> and he wonders what you are talking about. Because he starts quoting Abraham. Abraham and Mimi, yeah, and Ketula was an African lady, yeah, and Salah, yeah, and you know, even Solomon, the wisest man in the they world, go into all those, <laughs> all those details, and they say, Then why is this church stopping us from marrying two wives? So, one may take it as a pride, the other thing, he may do it because he is not happy. He's not happy with with what is happening between him and his, his first relationship. Mm. And he decides that I'm going to get married. Other times, he may feel that uh, because I have a lot, let me share it with with, with women. Sorry, with on the point other. that you've given about him not being happy, Yeah. if this man divorces this first wife and marries another wife, yeah. is that still polygamy? Because once we are divorced, you're no longer husband and wife. No. It's, that's not polygamy. Okay. Because he has only one wife. But oh, if okay. he, he marries and then marry another one, then that is polygamy. Okay. Yeah, he, he only divorced the first wife. So I, I was saying s sometimes um, man may feel, a man may feel that uh, I have enough to feed many mouths. And sometimes we go even into details of feeling like, there are so many women around and they love me, they are that, 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 they love me, that. <laughs> Why can't I? Because she's not married. Uh, and before these women love you, what signals that these you're throwing for them to start loving you? Yeah, of course, it's a matter of, you know, when they are in social places, they come around him and, you know, they, they, they entice him. Mm. So sometimes because he may hear languages, a language that is not common sweetheart at home idanya niya papa so and so daddy <laughs> you know there are women who call their husbands daddy <laughs> and here i'm calling baby so i am baby and a peck and um, you know sometimes so this man who succumb it you know you, you take it normal you take it like I'm okay if I get married to this lady. But from she'll what you're home, saying, she'll bring home all this goody goody. Because actually, at, at that's why, as equal, every woman should make this man happy. Because men marry for happiness. <laughs> Even if you see him stone faced, he doesn't want to talk. You continue making me uh, excited. Out there, they see I have a very good wife. She is an angel to me. But if you design that you are stone-faced because he is stone-faced, believe you me, this man, when he walks out there and he finds another baby, this <laughs> baby will come and they start calling him names. <laughs> the sweetheart, the darling, the honey. Wow, and touching him, you know, some pressure points. You know, they are... Men will be the one that, you know, you guys, you, you, you only think that uh, you are the people who need to be touched. <laughs> and you, you know, you, you feel nice, you know, relax when the man is touching you all over. If the same is exercised on this man out there, believe you me, chances are this man will get lost. Ah, on this point, that, Reverend, yes. mm -hmm. can you men really be faithful from all you're saying? Because you're saying... Your woman should make you happy because mm -hmm. we are talking about what actually makes a man go Going out there to, to look yeah. for a second or third family. Mm -hmm. We're not even speaking about cheating. Yeah. We're speaking about him looking for a family. Yes. And different people have different ways of making a man happy. Yes. The same way different men have different ways of making their women happy. Right. So it's like actually for a woman to make her man happy, it's now becoming something like more of a job not something that should happen because your reasons of men going out here are quite a number
Wow, not really. As if not really. You, you see what I'm saying on, a, on normal circumstances. Why did you follow this man? You followed this man to make him happy. When you are, we, we are administering the marriage of the sheep, there is a question that we ask both, both of, the, of, of them, the, the couple. Will you make this man happy? Will you labor, actually laboring, striving to make him happy? And you say, yes, I will. And you see, you're saying before God and before the witness. Mm. Now, as much as you would want man to make you happy, exercise the same, give him the same treatment so that in the process of making him happy, you are making yourself happy. Mm. And I repeat, every man, you know, men are like babies. Okay. They, they like to be nurtured, nurtured. pampered. Yes. <laughs> Call him good news even when he's asleep, when he's about to sleep. Hold him some places, those pressure points. Go to his ear and speak something nice before he sleeps. You will live with this man. Believe you me. This man will live with you. He may not even want to remarry. Mm. And if he has to remarry, you still have you in his heart. You always remain number one in his life. Meaning a man can actually remain monogamous he can. depending on the treatment. And he loves all of them. Okay, depending on the treatment that his wife gives him. True. Okay. True. When you give man the honor, the position that he belongs, he is there. Even if he has ten wives. That's why you hear even some of these guys who marry many wives, that the, 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 some tribes mm. which marry many wives. Yeah. They have one or two whom they love. So much. Yes. And you see when when he's going to, to I mean for occasion, he is with it. it's like the carrier the carrier bag. Yeah. He's always with this calendar or two. One of this <laughs> on the left and one on the right. On the right. <laughs> this man will always go to public. These are the people, the women who will be presented in the public. So by him marrying two, all is not lost. If there is something that he has not seen in you, most of those men who feel and you know who designed and the purpose to marry second wife you always go out there but if you win him with your good gestures the actions believe you this man will come back to you even when he has a second wife you start showing him a lot of love the first love will be rekindled believe you me that first love when it is rekindled, the man will come back. Okay. Though you will still stay with the two wives. <laughs> Are there any signs women should look out for that a man might be looking for a second wife, or should we say second family? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Th that's a good one. Every woman should know his man very well. When you find him dissatisfied, always complaining, Mm. This is not done. I send this shouldn't be done. It is not done. I've given you even uh, I've, I've given you sanctions. I've given warnings. If you find this man warning you first time, second time, three times, and then he keeps quiet, he tells you this one is not right, and you continue doing it, and then he keeps quiet. Mm. He doesn't want to fight. Then, all of a sudden, you see this man getting late, coming with excuses. Sometimes with the funny pa perfumes, lipsticks on his shirt. You need to know that things are now turning against you. And the earlier you change, the better for you. 
signs are there even when you see him if he was very secure mm -hmm. all of a sudden once a week he's dormant once a week once a month <laughs> if he was doing it daily paul the paul style but unless you are fasting <laughs> when you are in prayer and then he stops all of a sudden you find him he is not sick yeah if he was sick that is something else yes but this guy is not sick and he doesn't make any moves he doesn't disturb you you sleep the whole night without anybody asking you anything and he's so tight and the sleeping also with his clothes on before he used to wear them i mean <laughs> to me to 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 sleep filanga free style <laughs> so but this time he has started putting on the shorts yeah trousers mm. light ones vest mm. he used to sleep on a naked chest my friend watch out you need to know that this man is not happy or to avoid mistaking him he might also be having psychological problems what kind of psychological problems are these that can make a man stop being sexually active with his wife wow there are so many there are so many like if he is wrestling with the issue with a business that is not working he mm. can be inactive sexually so men cannot yeah. men actually cannot your minds cannot multitask with your body yes you can't mm. you see the 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 the, the controller is here the, the pituitary gland you okay. know, everything is centered on your brain. Okay. So sex is from there, everything manufactured there. Mm. So if he is overloaded here, down there, the, the downstairs is dumb. So a man can actually be faithful, he's just not sexually active because yes. of issues. Yeah, that's okay. why, again, women should be very careful here that this man comes home and he doesn't want sex. For a, for a week, for two weeks, he doesn't want sex, and you think that he's having fun out there. Don't. You'd rather speak it out with him. Ask him. It is good to communicate. You remember what he said previously, that communication is the key. Please ask him what is eating him up. Use the, the best language ever. If you have never called him a baby, hold him tightly and call him baby. Please mm. tell me what is happening. I want to pray with you. Use God, use use your styles, use everything to make sure that this man comes closer to you. Tell him, please, you know, I'm, I'm the only one who knows all about you. I know your nakedness. You married me as your helper, and I'm here for you as a helper. Please let me know what is happening. It might not be written to promiscuity. Mm -hmm. Not written to bringing in somebody else. But where you know that you are so nagging. That this man when he comes home you have nothing else. No praises. You have no, I mean you, 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 you don't give commendations. No credit to him. My friend that he starts coming home late. You have the cause. You have all the cause to be careful about yourself. To examine your ways also as a wife. Okay. Because this is where this man might be also having somebody else uh, else there who may be yearning to own him. And it is very easy for a dandy out there to own a man. With th those praises, with good food, with a good clean environment. But you keep the beddings for two weeks without without changing them. Changing them. With all the sweat, <laughs> the, the room is not clean, cobwebs all over, the table with a mess. I come home and I find that all these things I've been complaining about them over years. He keeps quiet. The moment he finds a very palatable place, very clean, you, you dwell there. You relocate, through, yes. yeah. Yeah, you be passing th through there as he comes back from work. Mm. And, uh, you know, he deducts it, holding his legs on a sofa. And this is a sofa that most of them have bought. 
he can even change what he has he has found in that house he can change the bed the mattress because in his house he has done all that nothing is changing the woman is there complaining all the time he has brought everything he has brought meat he has brought this he thought love would be what would meet him at the door no love we would request that this woman to avoid all this let her do her part not as a slave remember again she should not seem to be like a slave do a part without coercion cook nicely if you are meant to cook for him mm. serve him nicely if you are meant to serve him if that is what he loves yeah so there are men who yes the food is cooked by the house girl but please at least serve your husband serve me it's the least you can do that's the best african way of living yeah that man will live respecting that woman. If it's about this, the, the bed, give him the honor and the joy that he requires okay. in that bed. This man, in the morning, prepare him and go to work. When all these things are done and many or many more, as he can believe you me, even if this man errors and decides to go out there, he will always come back. The house is clean. Everything is neat. Make sure that the house is clean. And you yourself. As you let me say this again. There are people who generally stink. They have body odor. Yeah. Orders. And this woman knows that she, I mean, her body has that odor. Bad one. Please. We plead with our sisters, our mothers, our aunties. Work on it, on that. Go to the doctor, go to the dermatologists and others, the professionals. Let them work on you so that you don't smell. Because this odor is not only from here, from the apex, it is all over. Mm. And when this man comes, he is coming like he's coming to a graveyard or to a dead corpse. And then, what meets him? It can put him off. Okay. Again, you say, my man does not like me. Kwani atapenda. You not like something that is smelling that bad. You go to somebody else out there who smells nicely. So, you always be saying that my man does not come home. He doesn't like this. He doesn't do certain things, but it's something that could be it's avoided. Me. Yes. Thank you so much, Reverend. Mm -hmm. That was very interesting on polygamy. I'm sure our viewers have gained much. So have I. Viewers, thank you so much for joining us and for keeping it ATV always. Your questions, comments, and suggestions are always welcome. Our official page is Aviation TV Kenya. That is for Facebook. Our Twitter handle is at Aviation TV Kenya. You can hit me up on my page on Facebook, which is Leona Asiko Obura. Twitter handle is at Leona Asiko Obura. Our shows are also on YouTube on our page, which is Adam Aviation TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's see you next week, same place, same time. Repeat on Wednesday night. And I was your host, Leona Asika Obura. Jinangu ni kakila ndolwara. Ishu siyangu kuningala na wanaume kwa nini wa bibi wawili. Na kwanza ni kuwa labda awasikizana bibi wa kwanza. Jina bibi sasa awe wa pili. Jo labda wengine wanatoa toa stress. Stone Gugi. And uh, if anything, uh, there is a good reason why a male will, will find himself spending time with many different women. Uh, this is because if you look at the male, I mean at the animal kingdom rather, you'll find out there's no single male that has one uh, partner. In fact, this thing of uh, a man has to have one wife was choreo choreographed by someone. And uh, at some point, it has brought issues. And even, even before the Europeans and uh, everyone else came, our grandfathers were very comfortable being polygamous. So this thing of being monogamous 
has been created and it's about time that we agreed it's not working. My name is Fernando Ndambuki. Uh, I'm against polygamy because more as, as a polygamous person, you tend to look at more of what you're lacking instead of what you have already. As, um, as you know, polygamy has been the African state of mind for a very long time. And in as much as it has been our culture, it's something we need to do away with because in this modern day and age, it is very de degrading to women to know that they have other people competing for the affection of the same man that with them at, at the same time. Um, I'm Jackie. Um, yes. My answer to about polygamy. Uh, personally, I don't support polygamy because as women we have the jealousy instincts and yes, we feel like this guy is mine and mine alone so we don't like sharing. Okay. Yes. So as much as some might kind of say that it's okay uh, that they support their husband to have a polygamous relationship, inside them, well, they don't want that. So, yes, as women, we want one guy for ourselves. Yes. John Kimani, mm -hmm. and I'm um, in the University of Nairobi. And on the discussion, I think when you are a polygamous person, it depends on what you are going through in your marriage. You know, first of all, there are those ways that um, may be disturbing you. Maybe you have a wife, she doesn't fulfill your everything that you want. So she makes you feel like unwanted. So you might go for another better part. So in that case, you might want to marry another wife. On the other occasion is that um, you might have a wife also that uh, she doesn't fulfill your needs. Mm. You tell her and she doesn't care. In another instance is whereby you have a wife who travels. A man has needs, just like you know. So, and he has to fill his needs. So, instead of going and for the prostitutes here in Koinange, you opt for the option of marrying another one. And then you might have also another wife who can't bear children. So you opt to have someone who can bear children. And also you may, may want to have another wife who doesn't have to want uh, like two kids. You know, in our cultural background, you need to leave your dad and your mom. So someone says, I want only one child. So where will you get another child to name your dad or your mother from? It's uh, Robert Mutua Maina. And uh, I believe that uh, a man is polygamous because he's born polygamous. That is something we have in gene, and it cannot be controlled. Then two, is that uh, a person has to be polygamous, especially a man, because uh, of the nature of our marriages. Eh? We have a lot of conflicts in our marriages. You get to home and uh, your wife kind of don't understand you, so you just need to have another person who understands you better. So then there's uh, three. Uh, you can be polygamous because you want more kids. Yeah, the wife has a, a period of time where she gets to, uh, as in she cannot deliver any more kids and uh, you need some more kids and uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. Then it's also tra traditionally, you know, that uh, a man has never been single. Uh, it has always been possible for a man to marry even 10 wives as long as you can raise them. Then uh, a man can also be polygamous because of uh, circumstances. If this man has got wealth and uh, can raise the kids together with maintaining the wives in the possible measure and ways that uh, he is able, then he can go ahead and marry as many wives as he, uh, he feels like.